Would you mind explaining to America out there what happened to the Cowboys this year? I mean, I know Dak got hurt. Is it that simple? Or is there something else that you saw that isn't working? Well, obviously their defense struggled. Uh, they should have never changed over to a new scheme of defense. Uh, the players were out of position. I don't think – I think they resisted the change. Uh, and they really, really struggled there for most of the season. That was a big part of it. And then, of course, getting the injury to Dak, you know, but, uh, you know, all the teams throughout the league had injuries. And so you just got to deal with injuries. Um, but uh, that was a devastating injury, of course. Uh, I think they still got a lot of talent, uh, but uh, they've got to put it together this offseason and improve that defense and get Dak signed to a contract and back healthy. Coach, is it, isn't it time to admit what's going on with the Cowboys here? They're cursed, like the Red Sox were after Babe Ruth. <laughs> it's been a quarter century. It's the curse of Jimmy Johnson. Let's, let's admit it. Jerry Jones couldn't take the fact, his ego couldn't take that you were getting credit. Barry Switzer won one with your team, with your players, and they haven't sniffed it since then. Is this not the curse of Jimmy Johnson? I think it's the curse of Stephen A. Smith. He oh! actually says, how about them <laughs> He says, how about them cowboys better than I do? <laughs> Stephen A. Smith, it's your curse. You're the one that's cursing. I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. But uh, on, a, on a slightly more serious note, before we get into the conversations about the Super Bowl, because I really want to hear what you have to say about that, I, I do, in, in all seriousness, I think it's an absolute travesty that you are not in the Cowboys' ring of honor. Um, I, I mean, you know, oh, oh. I, I know you may not care, but you you belong in there. And I just want to yeah. say that for the record. Um, do you even care about that? Does that matter to you, sir? Well, of course, you, you want accolades. You want to be recognized. Jerry's told me three or four times over the last 10 years that he was going to put me in. Uh, he may wait until I croak before he puts me in, but uh, he will do it eventually. Okay. I mean, come on. Could you imagine, like, the Chicago Bulls? We're going to have a ring of honor, and Phil Jackson's not. Get out of here. Up. Get out of here. Let's go to the Super Bowl, Coach. Uh, we got Kansas City and Tampa Bay going at one another. Talk to me, you know, highlight this matchup for me. What are your thoughts going into Super Bowl 55? Well, I, I never I never thought that I would even consider going up against Andy Reid or Patrick Mahomes. Uh, Andy's one of the great co coaches of all time. Patrick Mahomes is the most talented quarterback I've ever seen, including John Elway, which I didn't ever think anybody would be more talented than Elway. But you look at it, the Buccaneers, you know, they're probably going to get Antonio Brown back. That'll help. Uh, and then with Kansas City, with those tackles being injured, with Fisher being out, Todd Bowles has done such a great job with that Buccaneer defense. Uh, he's going to give Mahomes some problems. I, I, you know, Brady's the greatest quarterback of all time just because of the record. He's won more Super Bowls than anybody or anybody ever will win. Uh, but Patrick Mahomes, you know, when we got ready for the Super Bowl last year, Watching him, he's just so special. He can make all the throws. He's got great vision. He's mobile. Uh, just such a talented quarterback. I can't go against him and Andy Reid. Coach, neither can I. And Mahomes reminds me, you bring up Elway. I think of Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre had a baby. Like, he has all the stuff that Aaron Rodgers has, <laughs> yeah. plus that gunslinger stuff, but he doesn't make the mistakes Favre made. What is it about <laughs> Mahomes that, 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 that jumps out at you that makes him different from Elway even or even from Rodgers? Well, you look at he protects the ball. I, I think it's because of his vision. Uh, he makes the, the great deep throws. And, you know, of course, he's got the great speed at receiver, but he makes great deep throws. Uh, he's always got Kelsey that he can go to. You know, he's his uh, security blanket. Uh, but he can throw from all kinds of angles. He doesn't have to really have his feet set. He can, you know, get out of the pocket. You know, he's got a great feel for avoiding the rush. Uh, you know, I could go on and on and on with all the accolades. He's the best I've ever seen. Now, I, I think Aaron Rodgers, you know, may be one of the most talented quarterbacks around. But mm -hmm. even Aaron Rodgers can't go, you know, with Mahomes. He, he is yeah. just special. Yeah, and Coach, he's just getting started. Uh, but, Coach, I want to ask you this, because the other dominant storyline this week, obviously, besides the Super Bowl, is Deshaun Watson. What do you make of this whole situation, and what team do you think would be a good fit for him? 
I think the best fit for Deshaun Watson is I, if I was David Cully, I'd go knock on his door and I'd say, Deshaun, let's have us a Michelob Ultra. And <laughs> I would talk to him and I'd do whatever it takes. I'd put my ego aside and I'd say, hey, the best thing for you is to stay right here. You know, make concessions, do whatever it takes. Do not lose that player. Uh, you know, as far as trades, you know, it's so difficult with the salary cap, with the contracts. Uh, do you, the, you know, really what you got to do compensation wise to make trades. Uh, but with Deshaun Watson, you know, David Culley needs to try to keep him there, try to talk him out of it. That's the best thing going right now. Coach, I'm a little surprised that you say that because while the Texans have really screwed this up, what Deshaun Watson would bring back. You were the guy. I mean, you built a dynasty on a trade for Herschel Walker, and as valuable as running backs were then, it ain't a quarterback today. Deshaun Watson be the biggest trade in history. The Texans could rebuild the whole thing. Yeah, but, uh, you know, they're not going to win any games if they don't have a quarterback. And, you know, I had a little similar situation when I had Steve Walsh and uh, Troy Aikman you know, Troy wasn't real happy that I drafted Steve Walsh, my quarterback from Miami, but I drafted Steve Walsh for one reason, to trade him to get some picks. I got a one, two, and a three for him. Uh, but that first year, I had to walk a tightrope between the two. I couldn't, you know, say, hey, Troy Aikman's my guy because I, wanted, I didn't want to diminish the trade value for Walsh. Mm -hmm. uh, but after Walsh was traded, then I go to Troy's house and I knock on his door and he had mentioned he kind of liked the tropical fish tanks. I said, hey, let's have us a cold beverage and let's spend some time together. Let's set up your tro tropical fish tank. We went out and spent the entire day together. We were looking around for tropical fish. I set up a tank in his house and we bonded, you know. Mm -hmm. And so you got to do whatever it takes to keep that um, quarterback. You know, they're hard to find.